Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your November 2022 general readings. We're looking at the first half of November from the 1st through the 15th. And this reading is for the fire sign of Aries. Welcome everyone. Thanks for taking the time to be here. As always, thank you for all the love and support of my YouTube channel. <clears throat> your likes, shares, hitting that subscribe button, watching the videos, uh, your donations, comments, feedback, those of you who keep me so busy with personal one-on-one uh, -on -one readings, all of it is uh, very much appreciated. I always like to start with a bit of thank you and gratitude, so thank you. Okay, Aries, this is for you for the first half of November 2022. If your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in Aries, it's relevant. If you're cross-watching for an Aries, it's a general reading, so as many of you know, it's going to resonate a little differently for everyone. If you know any or all of your signs, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, watch them for any additional insight uh, or perspective. They can give you kind of little bits of additional insight in what's going on in your personal life. And if you find that something does really hit home with you, it really resonates, and you'd like to reach out for a personal reading for yourself or for a gift for someone else or information about that, please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can also see that contact info by clicking the description link with the video. I would love to hear from you. I can usually respond the same day with more information. I do offer quite a wide variety of readings in all areas of life. And I do readings full time. It's all that I do. So I'm pretty diligent about timely scheduling. So if that's something you'd be interested in, send me an email. <clears throat> okay, Aries. Let's see what's in store for you for the first half of November 2022. I am using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with the writer, the Radiant Rider Weight deck. We begin with the Six of Cups. Childhood, home, family, roots of origin, or something you have a, a history with, historical connection. Doesn't have to go all the way back to childhood. You know, old friends, old lovers, old jobs, old situations. It's sometimes the secondary soulmate card. Children. With the Three of Wands. Starting to see some of your efforts paying off and uh, waiting for other results, waiting for that ship to come in, but feeling quite positive, hopeful, and optimistic about the future. There's kind of a, okay, I feel good about the, what I've seen happen so far, and now I'm waiting for this ship to come in, and I'm feeling really good about what it's bringing. Some of you, I'm getting some of you may be waiting to travel back home or to travel to see family or to a place that you have a history with or connection or children, something like that. Next we have the star, renewed, restored hope, faith, and optimism, which implies that maybe there was something difficult that happened previous to this because in the tarot, <coughs> which is about the, the tarot from the first card, the fool, all the way to the last card, to the world. You know, it's a journey. All the cards in between there represent the fool's journey, which is our journey, uh, through different aspects of life. Like each each cycle of the tarot represents a chapter or a significant set of chapters in our life. So in the tarot, the star comes after the tower, which is an unexpected, usually life-changing or game-changing occurrence. And it can not always, but often be difficult or challenging. So the star comes afterwards to rebuild, renew, and restore hope, faith, and optimism. It's kind of like, <coughs> excuse me, it's kind of like, uh, you know, health after illness, uh, light after dark, uh, joy, happiness, peace after a period of depression or difficulty in some kind. So there's renewal and restoration here, hope. With the Empress, a mother, a mother figure. It can also represent on a romantic level for some of you, your natural mate because the emperor is a ta is your sign, the sign of Aries and the empress is that natural mate. So it might be a romantic partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, some combination of that for some of you, which implies <laughs> there may have been some difficulty in this relationship or connection, but it is healing now and you're feeling quite hopeful and positive and optimistic about the future. For some of you, it can represent a mother or a mother figure because the Empress is the traditional earth mother of the tarot. It might be this family connection here as well. For others of you, the Empress, it's a card primarily of abundance and fertility. So it's about giving birth to something new, 
again, perhaps after something difficult happened. I mean, it's a general reading, so the specific details and the intensity will vary depending on who's watching it and what's going on in your life, but the fundamental energy remains the same. It looks like there was some challenge or something that happened before. Um, there's renewal here kind of happening. You're feeling much better about it. You're feeling much better about the future. Next, we have the Seven of Cups, kind of a dreamy energy, the Seven of Water. It represents looking at multiple options and opportunities and focusing only on the best and brightest potential and possibility of them. Kind of fantasizing, head in the clouds, building castles in the air kind of energy, kind of considering things. With the Four of Cups, an offer being made, an offer being received, somebody thinking about it but not quite acting on it just yet. This whole reading is just kind of a peaceful, sort of easy energy here. Now, the star does imply there, that there was something maybe quite difficult or challenging prior to this, but this kind of feels like the direct aftermath of when, okay, everything's going to be fine now. Everything's, you know, we're moving forward. Everything's good. You're just kind of in this waiting, feeling pretty good, feeling pretty, pretty peaceful and hopeful, particularly about the future. And you're kind of maybe taking a look at different options and opportunities of what's possible. You might be considering an offer that's come into you. You might be considering making an offer of some kind. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy and focus for the first half of November is the Six of Swords, which is a card of healing. It might be physical healing. It might be mental or emotional healing. Um, <clears throat> particularly, again, if there was a relationship that had difficulty here, um, if there was a parent or a mother figure, you know, maybe there was some health issues. I mean, the Six of Swords is about leaving the worst behind you, the choppy, muddy, turbulent waters, whatever that represents, and moving into a better place. The waters you're moving into now are peaceful, calm, serene. You're not quite to the other shore and on solid ground yet, but you're definitely moving towards that. So, lovely reading. Um, one of those rare ones I get where it kind of feels like... Uh, <coughs> Yeah, there's nothing particularly significant or impactful here. It's more about recovery or recuperation from something difficult or challenging in the recent past. Feeling good, feeling like things are moving forward. You're, you're kind of taking a look at different options and opportunities. So it's kind of a gentle read. Well, let's clarify some of this anyway. Let's clarify that overall energy of the Six of Swords. It feels like kind of a, I mean, we're, we're only looking at a, a pretty short period of time, two weeks, right? But it feels like kind of a, a breathing space, right? Like after you ran a race or had some kind of battle or challenge of some kind. <clears throat> Six of Swords, healing, recovering. Ten of Cups and Five of Swords. Five of Swords is a hard-won victory, winning at all costs. The, the battle itself, the challenge, whatever you were facing, uh, was difficult, but it's a win here because of someone's perseverance. And the Ten of Cups, happy home card. It could be, could be home, family in terms of relatives. It could be marriage. Again, there was some kind of issue here, previous, some kind of difficulty it might have been physical illness with a mother or a family member. Uh, it might have been a relationship issue, you know, difficulty within a romantic issue or a family issue, something like that. Um, but it's it's kind of behind you. I feel like for many of you, it's, it's recent. But again, the energy is much more positive moving forward. Let's take a look at the Six of Cups with the Three of Wands. I feel like some of you are kind of Again, this is a waiting, waiting energy, you know, waiting to travel, travel back home, travel from home, travel, travel just back to some place you have family or loved ones, a home. Maybe thinking about an upcoming reunion of some kind. The hanging man, yeah, waiting. The eight of wands, things moving forward. Uh, powerfully, quickly, fast. It's the traditional travel card. Some of you are are in that space of just waiting to take off to go somewhere. King of Wands. That's you, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Or you're 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 waiting for something to move forward. Although you're in general feeling quite positive about it. Let's clarify the star. 
Renewed Hope. The Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is Aces are the number one, so they represent the start of something new. And this is the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Water, the Ace of, of Emotion. So it could be, uh, you know, it, it's emotional renewal, whether it's with yourself in terms of self value or with. Uh, you know somebody else because it feels like there's a relationship here with somebody else but because it's a general reading the nature of that relationship will vary it might be a romantic partner um, a family member but again there's renewal here after some difficulty with the seven of swords a card of concealment <laughs> but here I think it just means you're not you're feeling really hopeful and positive and relieved but you just may not be sharing too much about that maybe you don't want to be that vulnerable verbally let's clarify the empress that's with that as well ah the queen of wands <laughs> it's funny because we have the king and queen of wands here which is a couple and we have the empress and you are the emperor so there's a strong couple energy here again it might be you and your mate or partner it could be parents because we do have family and connection energy here too the sun and the five of wands so pressure being uplifted and the sun is shining brightly again after some kind of conflict fighting arguing maybe a, an, an old argument or conflict again it could be issues around health for some of you too like if it's a mother or family member but all is well again kind of a gentle easy flow uh, let's clarify the seven of cups four of cups very dreamy again kind of sitting back waiting that's kind of the energy of this what's this offer or opportunity ace of pentacles so and um, there's an opportunity for a new beginning here either one has come in and you're considering it or you're thinking about maybe making this offer or opportunity available to somebody else the ace of pentacles so the ace of earth so it might be a more practical one it might be moving relocating new jobs new projects building something new you're just kind of taking a look at it and considering what the options are what are the possibilities How, what's the best way this could turn out kind of energy um, yeah I really get readings like this both in general and, and personal because there's always so many things going on um, and so maybe because of that it won't resonate with a lot of you areas out there but this is one of those where I, I hope it resonates with everyone because it's just such a a nice gentle peaceful kind of you know kicking back with your feet up on a stool kind of energy now again the six of swords and the star implies that something quite difficult or challenging did have to be dealt with in the recent past but again it's behind you you're you're moving towards a better place so lovely well let's just end with some any advice or guidance feedback for aries for the first half of november 2022 <clears throat> so hot I'm running my air conditioner which kind of dries my throat out but it's hot so I have to okay Aries justice this is the reap what you sow card as advice it represents doing the right moral ethical just things right because that's reflected in whatever outcome there is right you do good you get good in the end even if it doesn't seem like that for a minute so this is about doing things fair honest justly morals ethics six of cups again anything that has to do with whatever this this history situation has this relationship family um four of coins sometimes called the miser card it can represent stagnation or stability here i think it's stability i think whatever you have done and whatever you continue to do in regards to your particularly your close connections your close relationships um, the things that you've been involved with for some time any decisions or choices that you need to make make sure you make good right moral ethical choices in the name of stability long-term stability okay aries those are your messages quite easy ones this time uh, for the first half of November. I hope you enjoyed them, found them helpful, validating. Uh, again, if there are any of you for whom this hits home and you'd like to reach out uh, for a personal reading, maybe take a deeper look at something, uh, 
feel free to email me directly at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com you can also see that contact info by clicking the description link with the video i will see you all in a couple of weeks for the november mid-month readings until then stay safe and well and i hope to see you back here again soon bye bye